today we are going to continue with that remaining part of that speech of Martin Luther King. So what is there in this speech? We have studied yesterday. This was that speech which was given by Martin Luther King before the public when they were going for march towards Washington to get their civil rights from the government. So in this he was again and again telling people not to have any type of violent action. So all these people were there uh, requested by him to have what non-violence movement so he urges that their struggle must be accomplished with dignity and discipline uh, the protest should not be degenerated into physical violence so he stresses his fellow not to distrust all white men because according to him some white men are helping him in that protest so the struggle was for equality and he told people not to stop even police would come and beat them and all hotels would shut their doors for them he uh, told people that their uh, that final aim is to get equality and uh, to fight for segregation as well as uh, they uh, are going to get that right to vote so in short movement will not stop until blacks are finally granted equal rights according to martin luther king so he acknowledges the suffering of other those people who were there in that protest they were coming uh, together and fighting for justice some of those were even coming from prison and they suffered all of that that type of persecutions he encourages them to go keep going and have hope that their situation will change he his exact words are i'm not unmindful that some of you have come uh, here out of great trials and tribulations some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells so this is how there were some people who were even jailed for that um, protest or all that um, participation in struggle against that um, white man some of you have come from areas where your quest for freedom left you battered by storms of persecution and staggered by the winds of police brutality you have been the veterans of creative suffering so continue to work with the faith that an unsuffering is redemption he said he affirms that the situation of negroes living in alabama south carolina and uh, georgia lausania and ghettos can and will be changed according to him so king talks about his dream which is deeply rooted in american dream he repeatedly invokes the notion of his dream uh, he said that um, the day he was very um, is in uh, worry or he said that all people you are here even you have so many difficulties today but tomorrow um, he said that we will have that freedom definitely so he sees a dream in which the nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed the sons of former slaves and sons of uh, former slave owners will sit together and have their lunch so in this way uh, the state of mississippi will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice according to him so he describes his hope for future uh, america so it was actually his dream how that america would be in future he said that i have a dream that uh, my four little children will uh, will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character it is a world where black and white like will join hands he is a hopeful that with faith that they will be able to transform the discords of their nation into a beautiful symphony and brotherhood so this was actually his assumption that would be there in america after getting the freedom so king calls upon his listeners to look to this vision of america actually um, after, even after getting the democracy in america negroes and white men they were not equally treated and uh, even negroes were uh, not allowed to have their voting rights so in that way they were just a, a part of that society but they were not even materially uh, that prospered one so king calls upon uh, all these negroes to look to the, the vision uh, his vision actually of america in future what type of america he wanted to have so to give them hope to keep fighting and asserts that when freedom is allowed to ring from every part of nation the united states will be 
what it should have always been and justice will be achieved so equal equality he wanted and uh, he said that in future if uh, america would have such type of situation that would be that the uh, means right situation in america um, everybody should be with that freedom according to him king concludes the speech with the words from an old negro spiritual free at last free at last thank god almighty we are free at last so in this way he was having the dream of um, that freedom of negro people black people in america so with this we'll stop here.